Infrared radiation is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum that lies between visible light and microwaves. As objects become hotter, they produce increasingly shorter infrared wavelengths until they become hot enough to give off visible light. As wavelengths of infrared energy approach that of visible light, they can be focused and refracted by ordinary optics. At wavelengths significantly longer than that of ordinary light, however, infrared energy requires optics fabricated from semiconductors or unusual materials. Using a low-pass filter to block visible light, an ordinary baby monitor camera can be used to see things at infrared wavelengths. Referred to as near-infrared, these infrared wavelengths are just beyond the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that contains visible light. By stacking multiple layers of dark window tin on a piece of glass, it is possible to remove most of the visible light that enters the camera. Cheap do-it-yourself window film will work just fine. The darkest available tint is probably best because it will presumably require less layers to obtain the desired effect. Follow product instructions to first apply film to the glass and then repeat the process with successive layers until the resulting series of films and glass are almost completely opaque. Closing one eye and holding the arrangement over the other eye, look at room lighting to ensure that all or most of the visible light is blocked. Only a very small amount of deep red light should be visible, if at all. If not, continue applying layers of window film to the arrangement until all or most of the visible light is removed when viewing. Never look at the sun through this arrangement. Because objects produce increasingly shorter wavelengths as they become hotter, an ordinary soldering iron gets hot enough to produce near-infrared radiation. This time-lapse clip shows a soldering iron heating when turned on and then cooling again after being switched off. To the human eye, the heating element on top of an electric stove produces a dull red glow. To a near-infrared camera, however, the entire stove console and exhaust hood is brightly illuminated as if by a household lamp. Nothing better illustrates the differences in efficiencies of different light sources than viewing the light sources with a near-infrared camera. The following example features from left to right an incandescent lamp, a compact fluorescent lamp, and an LED lamp. Keep in mind that the camera is only seeing electromagnetic energy that is totally invisible and therefore useless to the human eye. The incandescent lamp is clearly shown to produce more invisible energy than the other two sources, with the LED having the highest efficiency and thus least amount of infrared emission. This means that the LED and compact fluorescent lamps require substantially less energy than the incandescent lamp to produce the same amount of visible light. Like electric stove elements and soldering irons, incandescent lamps are black body radiators that obey Wine's displacement law. In the case of incandescent lamps, it results in peak infrared emission with a small percentage of visible light. Thank you very much for watching and please feel free to leave comments or feedback.